Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds, and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm looking at the NZ XT Panzer Box case. As you can tell from the size of this case box, the case inside of it is going to be rather small, and it is. It's intended for LAN party use or just somebody who's looking for a very nice looking all aluminum small case, but this case does fit standard ATX motherboards. On the front of the case box are a number of pictures, some general information. On both sides are the specifications and on the back they list a few important features. Now also note something else about this case box. It comes with wonderful handles so you can very easily lift it. Since this case box is pretty small I'm going to open it from the top and just turn it upside down and pull the box off. Typical packaging material for a case. You've got styrofoam on either end and the case itself is in a plastic bag. And just remove the bottom and top styrofoam as well as the plastic bag. Which reveals the NZXT Panzer Box case. Now Panzer, if you don't know, is a German vehicle. Normally a tank that was used in World War II. Now while this doesn't look like a tank, maybe it's built like a tank. I'll have much more on this product in an upcoming video review, but for now I'll just really quickly go over the product. At the top is a massive exhaust fan. You've got two USB 2 ports, a microphone as well as a headphone jack, and an external serial ATA port. And this whole top section is mesh. At the front is the power button, reset button, three five and a quarter inch drive bays, and another massive fan. The left and right side panels have mesh ventilation. At the back of the case there are a couple of holes for a water cooling systems tubes to pass through, another fan, expansion slots, and here is where a standard ATX power supply would be installed. I'll have much more on this product in an upcoming video review.